Hi, hi, hello, and welcome back, everybody, to Cybercrush 2069. Last time we went on a date with Rosamond that we possibly won or failed. We failed the first time, but maybe the second time around we'll be a little bit better off. Uh, or maybe we were a little bit better off. Ah, oh, come on, man. Doing it again. It's not resetting. Ah, uh, this makes me so sad. Whatever, it doesn't want to reset. But we're going to go on a date with Simone today is our main point of being here. This will probably end up being a short episode, but heck, we're going to do it anyways. We need to get done with this stuff. So would you happen to remember my favorite color? Aren't you a sapphire kind of girl? I kind of pegged you for an emerald lover from the moment I met you. Is it turquoise? Um, I guess emerald. Nope. I'm sure other people like it, but it's not my cup of tea. I see. Details. Oh, so Sapphire is her favorite color. Alright, let's go on our date. Alright, let's see. Let's pay attention to the profile. She likes romance, hates ferocity. Go for some harmony as well. Um, hmm. Can do that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Some energy, I suppose. An extra move. Okay. Um, more harmony. Hmm. Um, hey, that was a good move. I think. Um, it's not get let's not lose track of how many moves we have um let's see yes give me the moves oh yeah that's some, that's a lot of stuff uh, wow, that's a lot of energy. Um, hmm. Plus four moves. Um, she likes that. Okay. Um, more of that. We could do that. Okay. That there. Let's see. Move. Um. A little bit more harmony. No, she doesn't really like it, but we could do that. Um. Air tokens and energy. Next air token match will count as harmony. Um, I suppose we could do that. And then. Okay, come on. Uh, give us something that's good. It, a butt ton of energy. Um. Okay, okay. Oh, there it is, boys! Hey, we actually did it! I was kind of expecting this to be a double episode, but we actually made it through. It's been three days, three days and a half, and this just keeps getting worse and worse, I think to myself. As soon as I woke up the night after Zoe took Simone home, I wasted no time and dove headfirst into research. I knew I was overlooking something. The Identa scan picked up a barcode printed on its side. It was faint and grayed out, but the machine managed to read it fine. And now, God, I wish I didn't. 
This is all pretty deep dark web stuff. How the hell does Simone fit into all this, I, I asked myself. Hey doc, sorry to disturb you like this, I just thought I'd check in on, says Zoe. Whoa, are you alright? If you don't mind my saying so, you don't look okay, says Zoe. Thanks Zoe. I'll live. It's Simone. I'm deeply worried about. How is she? I ask. She's doing okay as far as I know. She's slowly getting back to her usual self and doing her best to be cheerful. So nothing new. Though there is one thing I find kind of strange, says Zoe. Strange? Like what kind of strange, I ask her. Okay, don't laugh or think I'm weird, okay, asks Zoe. But at the start of every shift, I sort of hear this tiny sound coming from inside her body. I could have sworn it sounded like a tiny glass bottle cracking. I swear. I can't make this up even if I tried, she says. Uh oh, bad news, I think to myself. Zoe, I think I know what you're hearing, but don't freak out, okay, I ask her. Uh, that look on your face tells me it's going to be something worth freaking out over, she says to me. Okay, I'm bracing myself, she says. So, no, you're not hearing things. That sound is actually the weird nebules inside Simone breaking open, the very ones we saw the first night. I took a closer look at the liquid under a telescope, and they look like they're filled with nanobots, I say. Nanobots? asked Zoe. What would Simone be doing with nanobots in Jade Palace? she asked. Information theft, I say. Everyone in the restaurant right now has nanobots in them, downloading their information and uploading them into the deep dark web. Credit card accounts, personal records, passports, you name it, I say. What? says Zoe. My clients have been compromised? she asks. I'm afraid so, I say to her. Them and really anyone who's been around her, that includes you. Ugh, and oh no, I've been sending Simone on errands around the city. It could be anyone, says Zoe. Is she on shift right now, I ask? Yes, she's actually taking orders right now, and says Zoe. Oi, you two, not another foot in this establishment, says Zoe. I'm sorry, Doc, it's those two clowns again from last time. They're trying to take Simone away, says Zoe. Oh no, hold them off, I'll be right there. Simone, are you okay now? The bomb's gone. We did it, I say. <laughs> Yay, we did it together, says Simone. And this sweetheart jumps up and gives me the tightest hug she can muster, and I can't quite seem to let go of her myself. The crowd continues to cheer as we swing her around, and... Ahem! Says Zoe. I'm not interrupting anything special, am I? I could come back, you know, she says. Eep, says Simone. Uh, no, Zoe, not at all, says Simone. But we did it, we saved Jade Palace, says Simone. Right you are, pumpkin. I saw what you did from outside, and I couldn't be prouder of you. Oh, Zoe, fuckboy king, I have a special favor to ask, if that's okay, says Simone. Of course, what is it, I ask. So, ne? From now on, I'd like you to call me by a new name. I choose it myself, she says. Please, call me Nana. It's me. It's all me, she says. My heart overflows with love and warmth for her, and I can't help patting her on her head in affection and pride. She is growing, and she is owning it, I think to myself. Of course, Nana. Welcome home, I say. Hey, there it is, boys. Our third date with Simone slash Nana all finished up. Alright, boys, I'm going to call it here for this episode. I apologize for this one being super short, but as always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time for more CyberCrush 2069.